The Department of Public Service and Administration is concerned about the mental state of public servants during COVID-19. The department is the country's biggest employer and many of its employees are frontline workers such as nurses, doctors and teachers. So let's speak to the Deputy Minister Cindy Sochikunga who joins me now via Skype or via Zoom rather from Pretoria. Deputy Minister, thanks a lot for joining us uh, this evening. A major concern for a lot of the frontline workers. Let's talk a little bit about their state now of uh, mental health, particularly during this time. Uh, good evening to, your, to you and good evening to your viewers. Maybe it's proper that I start by extending our heartfelt condolences to all the South Africans, and in particular our public servants who have lost their loved ones to, to COVID-19. And wish all those that have contracted this virus a recovery. Um, we are concerned about the state of mental health, in particular of our public servants. Um, if we look at the statistics that we received from James, it is a medical scheme that has more of our public servants being members to uh, mental health is number four in terms of, of prevalence amongst the, the public servants. The best uh, condition that leads is hypertension, which is high blood pressure, followed by diabetes, mellitus, hyperlipidemia, which is high blood cholesterol. And then number four is mental health. But before the advent of COVID, now with COVID, as we see it, and with all the stressors that are there, something that is new, the fear, the anxiety, the fear of contracting the virus, the anxiety of everything, we, we are so concerned that it actually can increase the number of those that become mentally or suffer mental health disorders. And that is why we took time to say, as, as, as the organization called South African Federation for Mental Health, that is led by Dr. Fundile Nyati, who is the CEO, are celebrating this month or declared this month Mental Health Month Awareness Month. It's important that we also participate and, and, and we invited uh, the public servants and, and we had a discussion on this, on this one matter to say first mental health uh, disorders can be prevented like all other diseases. Mm. But if we fail to prevent it, it can actually be detected early, be treated early, and, 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 and prevent the, the complications that can actually come out of that. But in an event, we have complications then of to, to rehabilitate our patients. Yeah. We also have all our public we'll say to all our public servants if you fail to prevent the ill treatment and mental health problems can actually be cured uh, and, and they can be treated if you are not able to cure it it can actually be controlled mm. like you will control your high blood pressure you will control your diabetes mental health disorders as well we're saying this because in either then our public health uh, employees this is one condition that people do not want and seek help for medical health for yeah. because of the stigma that is associated with mental health disorders. Deputy Minister, and if I may just interject there, I mean, you're speaking about a pertinent issue around mental health. Is it true that a significant portion of our public servants feel like they've lost control? We don't have any statistics right now that is associated with COVID. Uh, however, like I'm saying, even before the advent of COVID, it was in terms of prevalence number four. And we are so concerned that with all the fear, remember fear, anxiety, stress, uh, depression, all these are mental health disorders. Mm. And, 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 and people might not even be aware of that. And we are saying as soon as you think that you are losing it and you think that you are too stressed, you are too afraid or fearful, it's important to seek medical aid and medical assistance or professional help with, uh, with a psychologist or doctor, psychiatrist, and so on. And it doesn't mean that you are mad, but what it means is that you are able to detect something that you think it has not happened to you. You are not able to stress, I mean, to cope with normal stress. And if you think that 
then get help. And that is why what we have said to the department is the Department of Public Service and Administration that is responsible for norms and standards in the public service. We are saying to all departments, assess, capacitate, and ensure that you have deep briefing mechanisms for your employee health and wellness officials. So you must check whether the numbers are enough because we're expecting that the numbers of people that might, might need help from them might increase. But also we are encouraging our public servants to make use of these services that are available. It is important that psychosocial and uh, uh, counseling services are available to them and for them to the extent that are How do they that access it, though, Deputy Minister? I mean, you're speaking about psychosocial services that are available to them, and with the lack of data that is related to COVID-19, where especially public servants is concerned, as you've just said, finding the correct interventions of paramount importance. So when we're speaking about these psychosocial uh, uh, programs that are available, number one, what are those programs? And number two, how do we know that they're going to be effective, speaking to that very same problem, if the data is a little bit low? What we actually have said, we, we have in our, in our departments, as per the norms and standards, a, a, a employee health, health and wellness unit, and they are meant for public servants at work. And, and we are saying this must be capacitated. All teachers and all staff in, in departments must check whether these have the capacity and they are resourced so that if there is a need, they must be capacitated even more. What we know, though, is that we have tested quite a number, as of the 27th of last month, we have tested quite a number of public servants. For instance, 187,727. Of those that we tested, 43,209 have tested positive. What this means is that out of five public servants that we test, one is positive. And of those on that by that date, 699 had actually lost their lives. Now, this is a colleague that we work with. We share offices and so on. Suddenly, this person has passed away. Surely, that will have impact in the mental health of the colleagues and of the staff. And that is why we think that when that happens, surely we must have these units ready to deal with them. But also, when somebody tests positive, immediately those that have been in contact with them, they fear that they've probably contracted the virus. And we are saying the counseling is important, which is, of course, talking to psychosocial services. The counseling is important. The proper referral systems, we've said they must put in place some teams and committees that are focusing mainly on COVID and COVID in the public service. And we said they must identify rooms where immediate person test positive. If that person happens to be at work, they are taken there or a person suffers from symptoms that are like the symptoms of COVID, that person should be taken to that room and be referred to a doctor. But with mental health issues, we are saying beyond these physical symptoms, your cough, your respiratory distress, your poor appetite, your dizziness, and so on, we are saying we have those that are invisible, but they actually cause a lot of mental scars, and they if they're not taken care of, they can actually complicate into serious mental health problems, including schizophrenic problems. And we are saying we can prevent that from our public servants. And that is why we are saying first, they must be aware that we have the high potential of having mental health disorders increasing. Like I'm saying, we have not received the statistics now, but we are anticipating that. And as a way of being proactive, we are saying these measures must be put in place. But we are further saying to our public servants, when they feel anything, they must not hesitate to seek professional help, whether using their medical aids or using the, 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 the units in the departments. They must not hesitate. They must not think that they're going to put by themselves. They must seek medical aid. Deputy Minister, we're going to have to leave it there for this evening, unfortunately, but thanks a lot for joining us and shedding some light in terms of the realities that are being faced by public servants on a daily basis there. Uh, the Deputy Minister, Cindy Siwe Chikunga.